Hello, grade students. This is Bunyasa Kappa, your math teacher. For quarter four, week six, I will be presenting to you the video lesson on basic concepts of probability prepared by my two colleagues, Ms. Hani Bunag and Ms. Laika Anjali Managbanag. So, just sit back, relax, and enjoy learning. Hello, good day, grade eight students. Are you ready to have fun with math? I'm Mrs. Laika Managbanag. And I'm Hanime Okabunag. And let's make learning more fun. Before we start, here are some reminders to keep in mind. 1. Stay alert and focus to the lesson video. Number 2. Prepare your pen and paper as well as your module. And number 3. Sit back and relax as you enjoy our lesson for today. For this lesson video in grade 8 mathematics, we will talk about the basic concepts of probability. In the early days, it has been associated with gambling or say, the game of chances. So, murag imuhang crush. On say chance, nga magkakamu. Ha ha. But at present, it has so developed that it is being used in many fields of knowledge. Let's say economics, industry, engineering, navigation, and defense. Have you at a certain time asked yourself the following questions? What are my chances of getting a correct answer in a true or false type question test? What are the possible routes that I can take in going to school? Or should I bring my umbrella tomorrow? How do you deal with these questions? Were you able to answer it confidently in a hundred percent? For this video lesson, you will learn to define and illustrate an experiment, outcome, sample space and event you'll also be able to determine the outcome sample space and event of a given experiment and appreciate the basic concepts of probability in real life situations now flashed on the screen is a probability line so the probability is measured in the scale of zero to one when we say zero, meaning to say impossibly kayo siyang mahitabo. Never and never good siyang mahitabo. And the certain or say one, it means it is 100% sure good siyang mahitabo. For the unlikely, there's a small chance in it. For the even, 50-50 or half-half lang siya. And the likely, is dako dako nag chance pero dili yun siya a hundred percent na given above is the probability line so at what as what i flashed ganina all you have to do is fill in the blanks with the correct words that would make the following sentences meaningful so let's say to God nothing is blank. Asam na siya dapita diha sa probability line. Of course, to God nothing is impossible. Number two, now is your blank to change for the better. Asa kana siya dapita din ha sa scale. It is chance. Now is your chance to change for the better. Taga anak niya chance jang zai. Number three. I'm blank that we can do better what is expected of you. I'm certain. My pagtitiwala siya, broad. Number four, given the chance to win in the math contest, I prefer the four in five chance. And number five, you and I have blank chance to succeed in life. I said that way. It is even. So it's all in your hands, baby. From the previous slide, 
how do you describe the probability? When we say probability, it is the possibility of occurrences of events in a man's life or the chance that something will happen, which can also be expressed as a fraction, decimal, or a percent. Kahinom dong matag fraction? What about decimal or percent? Here are some terminologies used in the basic concepts of probability. We have first the experiment. When we say experiment, it is a chance process that leads to a well-defined result called an outcome. Or it also refers to any situational activity that involves chance. It can be in the form of making observations or taking measurements. Best examples of experiment are flipping or tossing a coin. So, kailatag coin, i-flip ra na ninyo. And the second one is rolling a die. So, sumawa kay lagday, kana siya. Now, for some other terminologies used in basic probability, I'll give you the floor to Miss Honey Mayo Kabunag. Now, for the second term, we have the outcome. So, the outcome, it is the result of a single trial of an experiment. So, try to look at the example. We have here the experiment and the outcome. For our first experiment, we have flipping a coin. So, what are the possible outcomes when we flip a, to a coin? So, there are two possibilities or possible outcomes upon flipping a coin. We have the head and the tail. For the second one, we have a rolling a die. When we roll a die, there are six possible outcomes that may result. We have the one, two, three, four, five, and six. Since a die has six faces. Another terms that we may encounter in the basic probability. We have the sample space and the sample point. For the sample space, it is the set of all possible outcomes. And the sample point is just one of all possible outcomes. Try here to look at the table. Now we have here the experiment, outcomes, the sample space, and the sample point. So we, will, we have already discussed this experiment and the outcome. So now we will try to look at the sample space. To flip a coin, we have the outcome, the head, and the tail. So for the sample space, it is written as the set of the head and the tail. Or, isood ni Moshak bracket, then H and T. And the sample point, you may choose one of them. So it could be the H or it could be the tail or the T. Now, rolling a die. So roll, rolling a die, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For the sample space, it is written again in the set or we may call this one as bracket. So you write rani mo ng outcomes. So muna na siya ang sample space. And for the sample point, you will choose one of the given sample space. It's either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And the last term that we may encounter is the event. So what is the event? The event is any set of one or more outcomes satisfying some given conditions. So try here another example. We have here the experiment, outcome, sample space, sample point, and event. So we will proceed to the sample point. For sample point, it could be the head or the tail. For the event, there are two possible answers. We can have getting a head or getting a tail. For the next example, we have here the rolling a die. So for the sample point, we can choose either one or two or three or four or five or six. For the event, we have getting an 
even number. So what are the even number? The 2, 4, or 6. Next, we can have getting an odd number. Another, getting a number that is greater than 4. And there are many more. For the first activity, we have or tawag na to siya, you and I are meant to be. So direction. Use the basic concept of probability to identify the following. You can, you can choose your answer from the given terms. We have here the event, outcome, probability, sample point, and sample space. So I will give you one minute to answer the five questions or the five examples. Now let's check your answer. For number one, we have the five over six. So it is called probability. So why? Since it talks about fraction. For number two, we have the tail. Kai, ni Chusraman Kai. Or it is, the answer is sample point. Kai, ni Chusraman Kai between the two. Next, we have the number three, 50%. We have the probability. Why? Because it talks about percent. For number four, the right or wrong, we have the sample space. And the last one, we have the king of spades. So it is a sample point. Proceed to the next activity. For activity two, we have this called what's my chance. So what are you going to do with this one? Instruction. Describe the likelihood of the event. Decide where you think the events should go on the probability line. So try to look at the line. So zero again for the impossible and 100% for the certain or sureness. Now I will give you one minute to answer this activity. Okay, now we will check your answer. For number one, we have here the certain. Why? Since we all know that there are seven days in a week, so it is 100% sure. For number two, out of 20 items, Elma got 15 items correct. So we have here the likely. Since it is almost perfect or gamay na lang jugguang para ma-perfect. Next, we have here the day before Monday is Sunday. Is certain. Why? As we all know, the next after Sunday is Monday. Next, the sun will rise tomorrow. So we have here also the certain. Why? It's because, sure naman dyan tanga og na jay sun. Rise. Next, number five, Balmond will win the lottery. So unlikely, since there are a lot of chances na di dyan siya mahitabo. Now, you have the deeper understanding of the topic. It's your turn to answer your module. Goodbye and thank you.